Okay, now what we have here is a Spartan that I've been working on. What I've been trying to do is convert this into a usable figure for Das Studio. And it looks like thus far I have been successful. However, there is one slight problem. If I can pull it up here and show you. There. The bones. The bones. They're not quite where they need to be. So, never exactly seen Spartans be able to do this before. I have amusing, but not quite usable for me. Now, in order to get where I did, I took a Spartan figure and I superimposed it over Genesis and then conformed Genesis to the suit. Now, you can see. There are the bones, the way I arranged them. There are the bones, the way they came out. Like I said, not exactly useful for me. Yeah, so you had to. You can see I had to bulk up Genesis quite a bit in order for it to fit the suit profile. But, uh, pretty much for getting this ready, the easy part's done. Now all I have to do is uh, move these bones around where they need to be. See, I've got this bone here, and it's not quite where it needs to be. It needs a little work. Got to edit the polygon groups a little bit, but yeah, you can see there's acute deformity in everything that moves, and you can see that I've got extra bones here. Well, what those are, I guess you can call them ghost bones. Because whenever I move a bone, one of these gets left behind. And I have absolutely no idea what to do with them. So for now, it looks like I'm stuck with them. Uh, most likely to finish working on these, I'll have to... Uh, I will have to... Reassign some uh, polygon groups. You may have to do a little weight map editing. But uh, so far, it is looking pretty good. I expect to have it ready sometime within the next one to two weeks. Uh, as you can see, I've still got a little bit of ways to go. Some things are not quite set up right. You can see I've got to reassign some polygon groups because there's a lot of them missing where they need to be. See, there you got the head. We have come over here. We'll look at the neck if I can ever find it. Yeah, there. Uh-huh. That's part of the problem. And see, so we'll take a look at the head, too. That's why it's getting all these weird shapes and such. So, we'll just have to remedy that here. So, I expect to be doing test animations with this thing within the next two one to two weeks. Um, 
I'll put it through its paces quite literally. But I do expect this to be a very wonderful addition to my library.